at that time. But let me show you some of the things that they have. So the first thing is this super fun. Let me just do it first and I'll show you guys. Um, this super fun massive um, light up lightsaber. I'm almost sure that I paid 99p for this but I liked it it was cute and I thought why not put it in a haul I did not expect it to be this long I mean I can't get it in the whole shot um but what you have is this little pouch at the bottom and you oh dear you burst it if you can and it releases oh my gosh that is so hard let me I'm gonna just have to smash so sorry guys if the camera moves oh there we go can you hear it fizz so it releases the gas um, inside and makes a reaction and it inflates. Now, it does inflate a lot more than this. It's just still going. Um, but how cute is that? Just a little toy fight. I mean, I wouldn't be fighting with this because it does have some sharp um, foil edges. But it's cute. It's adorable. And I know these things can last for ages with this little and give it a shake this little um mixture inside but it's cute it's adorable and look at this it really does look like a normal lightsaber so that's super cute we will let that fully inflate and pop it over here i'll show you guys where will i put it i'll sit it here i'll let you guys see it more towards the end but you can already see that it is becoming quite rigid um, the next little blind bag we have is this Despicable Me. Um, and it does say, um, to be careful, there are small parts. So if you're going to give this to a child, make sure that you um, supervise. So these are all the little characters we can get inside. I don't really know a whole lot about Despicable Me. So I'm not sure what character we're going to get. Let me just see if I can get into this. Okay, I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and be right back. So we are back. So we'll just cut this right across the top. Guys, also, this is series nine. I don't know if that means anything to you guys. This is our little checklist. Does it have names? No doesn't oh that makes my job so much harder but oh my gosh there are a ton oh and it tells you how to put it together so I might have to do some building um let's see if we can build it easy enough this one looks pretty straightforward so you have your little stand you have a set of feet let's pop those in okay you have the body guys anybody know who this is anybody know I have no idea. If you know, put it in the comments. Um, I like the fact that it has the little movable parts though, so that's pretty good. You can move it around. That is cute. Oh my gosh, no way. It has a set of goggles. Oh, took it off the stand, silly. Let's pop you right back on again. Oh my gosh, how cute. And how does this go on? I don't know. Let's have a look at our checklist. Okay, we got this guy. So, are we missing a piece? It looks to me like there was another piece that allowed you to put the rocket into the hand so you could hold it. Or maybe was it the hand? Let's go back and have a look at our checklist. No, it definitely had another piece, which is missing from this pack. Yep, definitely nothing in this pack. I'm going to pop our little checklist over there. Nothing on the table. So, this little rocket is supposed to go into his hand. And he is supposed to be able to hold it up. But we are missing a little piece. Unless it goes here. No, I don't think it does. Um... That's a bit of a shame, but, <coughs> so sorry, but we do have this little cute guy and his little rocket. So that's cute. The next thing that I got, okay, have to confess, confession time, this isn't really a blind bag. Um, This is from Jokes and Gags. It's a splatter face. It is an emoji face. Um, I have had some of these in the past, um, and I think they're 
pretty fun. Let's just pull this little emoji out. Oh, we've got winky face. Ooh, ooh. And it is a splatter face. I love that you can just push it. Um, but what you're supposed to do is, oh gosh, let's do it more here. Let me turn you guys around. Wow. Stole the little um, Minions rocket. But let's try that again. Oh, that is so much fun. And it is, look, it is super sticky. Look at this. That is, that is adorably cute. I did not go over our minion. We will pop him back up again and just pop that right there. That is such a cute little item. A lot of fun. And you guys know we're all quarantined. We're all on lockdown. So why not um, place an order with Pound, poundtoy.com and have some fun games and things for your children to play with. Um, I do know that Pine Toy are still, they're still um, taking orders because I had um, contacted them um, just to let them know I was going to do this video and ask them where they still delivering. So you guys, they're still delivering if you guys would like to make um, a purchase. The next thing that we have is this Crackle Bath Colors. It says make your bath water Crackle pop and change color. So that's cute. Um, this is mystery color. I love getting mysteries. And it says just add water. So we are going to bring in our trusted little container. And we've got some water right here. And we will just add our water to our container. And open this mystery um, water bath color um so guys this is for three and up let's go ahead and open the tur strip my tur strips never go to the end tell me in the comments um guys do your tur strips ever go right to the end i always have an issue with that so let's see oh i think we have green and you've got these giant rocks there is absolutely no scent to this so let's I'm gonna let you guys closer. Can you hear that? Oh my gosh. Can you hear that crackle? That is so much fun. And the water is this gorgeous blue, um, clear crystal water. That is so, so much fun. Look how crystal clear the water is. So guys, that is a lot of fun. Those little um, crackle bath colors are 99 pH. And I think to have a bath, that is so much fun. That is well, well, well worth the price. I know that if I gave this to any of my nieces and nephews, they would love it. And these color, these are color safe. So there's no transference onto your skin. And the bottom, um, the rocks are just salt. So they're um, almost the same as like Epsom salts. So it's pretty safe for you, for your child, for anybody to use. As long as you're not allergic to Epsom salts. So I'm just going to change this out and then I'm going to come right back. Guys, look at how rigid this little lightsaber is now. It's fully expanded. It is huge. It is fully robust for 99p. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, let's look at this little blind bag. This is an X-Men Dice Masters. I've never had any of these before, but it tells me the pack contains two cards and a dice. Um, and there's 124 cards to collect in total. This is a little snippet of what we can get in this series. Okay. What is this? Okay, that's fully empty. Um, we just get 
swords and symbols in the Marvel Dice Masters. So this is a little, um, just a little explanation. We've got these two characters. So we've got Boom Boom Meltdown. When fielded, one dealer, deal one damage to your opponent for each of your active characters. This is a gorgeous um, pearlescent metallic type card. It gives you the little strengths at the bottom. And we've also got Beast. I love Beast, actually. Um, it's acrobatic aggression. And when Beast, Beast is KO'd, you may add up to two dice from your used pile in your bag. So these dice are part of the game. And I think this is pretty cool and pretty awesome. I really just like the cards. So these are... Um, a little card game, almost like Dungeons and Dragons, sort of, I think. Um, so that's a pretty cool blind bag. I don't know if I would start collecting these, um, but maybe. I don't know. Um, so they're pretty cool. I really, really like those. We'll pop that over here and maybe move some things around so you guys can see. Um, okay, another thing that we got that isn't a blind bag, but I thought it was really cute, are these Sticky Ninjas. These are three and above, and they crawl down walls. Um, guys, I'm not going to open these because um, I just wanted to show you to show you them, but I'm not going to open them because I'm going to put these in a giveaway. Um, it seems a bit of a shame for me to open these, knowing that I won't keep them. Some of the other things where you can't see inside, don't mind opening them. That's fine. But I think some um, someone would love to win these in a giveaway. These are 99p, you get two. You throw them at your door and they tumble. They have jelly hands, jelly feet and a jelly belly. Um, so they're cute. One is in this gorgeous red with um, orange flames and we have blue with purple flames. And I just think that's so cute. So you throw them at the wall and watch the ninja tumble down. I think that is adorable and so cute. So that's definitely going to appear in one of my fun giveaways. Let's just make some room right back here. Um, let's just go through the other things that are not, kind of not a blind bag. Um, we have some neon fluffy slime. This fluffy slime is in this nice blue color and it is resealable. Love bags that are resealable um, because it just makes it easy for you to have somewhere to store your um, slime when you finish playing with it. It also keeps it airtight. That means that you can replay anytime that you want. And guys, I just ripped the top off. But so you know, this comes in blue, in green, in orange, pink, purple, and yellow. I kind of wish I had got the yellow. You can't actually pick the color that you get. You just get whatever they give you. So kind of hence why it's in a blind bag um, haul. Oh my gosh, come on, let me open you. Um, so we struggle to get it open. Okay, it's in a bag in a bag. That's okay. Um, so, oh, it's not even in a bag. Oh, that's cool. Um, so it's, it's in this little plastic that means that it's easy. Sometimes when you get this kind of stuff in the bags, oh my gosh, it can take forever. I can still hear that crack, the bath crackle. And when I poured it down the sink, I can still hear it. Um, don't know if you guys can, but I, I definitely can. It's still going. Um, I got some fluffy on me. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. This is, wish I hadn't have done that. This isn't what I was expecting. I expected it to be uh, not as sticky. This is super, super sticky. Um, I don't know if it just needs air, uh, it needs um, me to play around with it for a bit. Let's figure that out. Um, mm, super, super sticky. Oh, gosh. Um, it is getting, oh, I, I was being hopeful. It felt like it was getting a little better as I was playing with it, but it is actually super sticky and it is going everywhere. Um, you can fix this up. Um, this is not unfixable, even though I am covered. Um, I'm going to pull you guys back just ever so slightly. Um, you can fix this. The, the, there's nothing wrong with this. A tiny little bit of activator, and this will stop being so sticky. Or if you have more clay, um, oh, it's everywhere. You can fix this by putting this, um, putting some clay. It does make it less sticky. 
Um, and maybe that's a future video that we'll do. But for now, I'm going to pop this back into its original um, little wrapper. And I am going to go clean up. <laughs> Because I don't want to touch any of the rest of the items with sticky, sticky hands. We'll just pop our wee fluffy um, slime in there. Maybe in a future video, I'll hold on to this. And maybe in a future video, I'll show you guys how I fix my slimes. That's okay. I mean, I'm not mad at that. That's fine with me because I will fix that. And I know that that will be really good. Guys, stay right there. I'm going to be right back. Let me go and get cleaned up. <laughs> Okay, all back, all clean. Still have a little tiny bit of the, um, a little tiny bit of that puffy slime under my nails, but that's fine. We'll get rid of that shortly. I love trolls. So we're going to have a look at this trolls blind bag. Doesn't tell me anything in the back, just tells me warning that there are small parts. It says this is series six and collect them all. So let's go ahead. No tear strip. And that's okay. I have my trusted scissors. And let's see. Ooh. If we get, I think you guys saw already. Um, let me see if we get a checklist. I don't think this is a checklist. Uh, it is not. That's okay. Let me just check if we get a checklist. Ooh, do we? Let me see. Oh, we do. Look. Oh, hi, cute. I love them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 to collect in Series 6. That is adorable. Um, I like trolls, but I don't know the name. I think I know the name of one. Um, Poppy, but I don't know the name of any of the others. So that, you guys will have to help me out here. You guys let me know in the comments below who we got. I'm going to show you. We got this person. Oh, I was really hoping for a troll with the... Um, the fluffy hair. I really, really like that troll. So we got this person. Um, it's cute. It's, um, not focusing. Let me see. It's trying to pick up the things in the back. So we've got a glitter green hat, some really pretty bright, uh, blue hair. We pink body and these cutesy, cutesy little legs. So they're adorable. Um, I think that little blind bag, I can't get this little person to stand up. Do the legs move? Oh, I don't know if I'm really supposed to do that, but it might help them stand up. Nope, we'll pop you right there. Um, I was really hoping for this one. Who's this? Tell me in the comments who this person is. I was really, really hoping for this person or this one. Look at the hair. It is adorable. I love it. Um, it's okay. I'm not mad. We have got more of those blind bags, so hopefully I get someone... Um, I get one of those other characters. This little next one is a Justice League um, blind bag. It, I think, is Series 2. I'm kind of hoping that I get... Hmm, who do I like? I think this is Aquaman, and if it is, that's who I want. So let's open it up. Nothing on the back. Uh, let's see if we get checklists. Not going to go in there and find out who we've got. But let's see. Oh. Oh my gosh. So I love this. So in this collection, each part of these characters come apart to build this new character on the inside. So that is, that is really, really cool. It looks to me like we've got seven... 14 characters to collect. I'm going to keep this checklist because I believe that this might actually become a series that I will um, start to collect. But let's see who we've got inside. Guys, if I don't know who this is, you are going to have to help me. But I think... Ooh, no. Is this bad, Superman? Um, I have watched all the Superman movies. Oh, come on. I have watched all the Superman movies, um, but I don't know the characters' names. That's so bad. But I think this is the bad Superman um, whenever he comes back to life again. Um, this is the colors that he wears. This little cape does not want to go in. Oh, I think we've got it. 
Well, just push it in and make it super secure. Oh, look, this is adorable. He's got red eyes. That's a bit creepy. Um, yeah, but let's set you here. Well, the one thing that I don't like about um, these are that they're not very steady. So, sorry guys, I keep going out of camera shot. I don't mean to do that. Um, they're not, I mean, I'm not able to stand him up. That's so sad. Um, let me see. Figure 69. That's all it tells me. So guys, again, let me know in the comments below. This didn't go on either. Um, maybe I'm not pushing it in enough. And just give it a real push. Um, yeah, let me know the name of this character. Let me know if I'm right, if it is the bad Superman. Um, and we'll set him right up here. We will not, because he does not want to stand. Oh, wow, he's standing, so that's awesome. Okay, guys, the last two things I have to show you, and I kept these to the end because these are the messy ones. Um, I'm going to show you this Ryan's, Ryan's World. Um, jelly play turns into goo just add water um so we're going to look at that and then i'll show you the last item that we have here um so again there is oh, wow these have got colors but you know what they're, i'm going to keep this a mystery so throw that away let's oh i saw it Ugh. It doesn't matter. We're going to throw it in anyway. It's purple. That's one of my favorite colors. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, and we're going to take our trusted spatula and we're going to add water. Now, I don't know how much water to add, but I'm just going to add a little bit and then see what we get. Oh, wow. We need to add more water. So I'm just mixing it around. This is a super, super pretty um, color. This, I think we need to add more water than that. Um, this is absorbing this water super fast. I think this, I think we're going to have no water left. Um, I think this is almost like fake snow, but like jelly in a jelly consistency. Oh my gosh, we need more water. I think this is enough water. But this color is super pretty. Oh my gosh, this looks, I mean, lift you up and show you guys. This looks like, um, like an ice cone, you know, like shaved ice. Mm, so nice. When you press it down, you get a more consistent color, but it is super like jelly. Um, I don't know why I would want to play with this, I'm just going to touch it and figure it out. Let's look at the back. Why would I want this? Okay, this is actually pretty easy to dispose of as well. You just add a ton of water to dilute it and then you flush, which is pretty awesome. Okay, this is super weird. A, it is freezing. B, it's like... It's, mm, it's like, has like a weird gummy kind of texture. I don't know why I would buy this and play with it. I mean, it's not disgusting. I kind of, it is kind of fun the way it just pumps through your hands. And I mean, I guess if you were outside and you were playing with this, it wouldn't be too bad. Um, we are getting some really nice weather. I know we are on lockdown, but you can go into your garden. And this is pretty easy to get rid of. If you are in the garden and you've got a hose, you can just hose pipe this all away. I mean, this is okay. I wouldn't necessarily have this on my shopping list again, but it's, it's fun. Um, it's so cold. It's really weird because it's almost like a snow consistency without it actually being snow. I don't know. This is weird. Really weird. I think I'm going to go and clean this up and then come back. 
I'll tell you what I do like about it. I like the fact that it was that deep purple. And once you started like agitating it and moving it around, oh my gosh, I got it on the table. This is why it's just messy. Um, this is pretty easy to pick up though. So I'm not mad at that. Um, but I like the fact that it, when it was in concentrate, when the water was going in and I hadn't agitated it, that it was this dark purple. And I like that it's become almost like this, um, <laughs> it's become this um purple lilac so that's nice i mean that's all right okay i gotta go clean this up i gotta go clean me up and then i'll come right back and show you guys the last item okay guys the last item that i have in this haul is this slime play and um, in green it makes four liters four liters of slime it's skin free and stain free oh talking about stains so that ryan's um jelly play totally stained my hands i'm hoping that it comes off um it probably will it might take a few washes but that's okay um but you're getting 20 grams of this product for 99p four liters of slime oh my gosh so guys this takes 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes for this to actually um, turn into slime. But in the interest of not having you guys be here for three hours, I made one yesterday. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to be really careful opening this lid because this slime is super sticky. Um, it was really, really fun to make. But it is, look at that for sticky. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, this is so sticky. I'm not going to put my hands in this again because I did that yesterday. And oh my gosh, it took forever <laughs> to get it off. Um, but this is what the slime looks like. I hope you guys can see. It is very watery, but very, very, very... Um, slimy this is more like a water-based goo than a slime it is super fun and it smells i don't know what ingredients they've put into this slime but this smells incredible it has it has the most unusual amazing sweet smell when i opened the packet i got a burst of actual scent and it was amazing um guys if you don't mind goo if you don't mind um, a little bit of mess. Um, then this is definitely fun for you to do with your kids. Um, I did have fun doing it and I'm not a kid. Um, but it is incredibly gooey. Um, you can see that it has a ton of stretch. I mean, I am so far up and it is still going. Um, but it is exceptionally messy. So if you're going to play with this, honestly, um, just make sure that you're somewhere that is easy, clean. I mean, look, but it is, I will tell you this, it is crystal clear. Even though it's got color in it, the clarity of the actual, um, the actual slime itself is amazing. I just would have liked a bit of a thicker consistency. I do like playing with slime. Um, I think it's very relaxing. Um, this one just wasn't my favorite. I definitely don't think that I would be purchasing this again. If you want to, <laughs> that is, oh, that is really up to you. It is fun, but it's just way too messy for me. Um, so this one for me was a bit of a thumbs down. The right, the gel play definitely was my least favorite item in this entire haul. And what was my favorite? Oh, uh, my favorite is probably the little, um, Superman really really like the superman and um, so that's my favorite well guys what did you think of this haul did you like it if you did please give it a thumbs up <laughs>